Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, find a way to win or you find a way to lose. And let me tell you something. With the guys who are dominating the heavyweight division, so many of them look, in my opinion, in the next couple of years to kind of just fade away into retirement. They have a whole lot of up-and-comers, and I've been touching, touching on them <clears throat> in videos just giving you a little bit of a precursory review of what's to come. Because those guys coming out of the Eastern European countries, I'm telling you, they're built differently. Pauli Malignaggi may have been onto something when he said the best fighters are right now are coming out of Europe. A lot of people didn't like what he said. And you know, everybody out here on social media, if you listen to them, everyone's a goddamn racist, right? But they call Polly a racist for saying that. But but when you sit back now and, you, and you're paying attention, Polly may have been onto something. But anyway, they got a guy there named Muslim Godzim, Godzima Gametov. And he seems to be another one of those guys who is going to be a problem. Now... <clears throat> He's a Russian professional boxer, and as an amateur, he won a gold medal at the 2019 World Championships and a gold medal at the 2019 European Games. Uh, he also won silver medals at both the 2020 Summer Olympics and the 2017 European Championships. Now, as far as his Olympic results as an amateur, it's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of accomplishments. But the one thing that jumped out to me is where they said, in Hamburg, Germany, 2017, round of 16, he was able to defeat Bektemir Melikuzia, which is the Beck bully. If you don't know who that is, that's the guy that Gabe Rosado knocked out. Um, and I think it was the second round of a fight that Gabe Rosado wasn't supposed to win. But anyway, we know what the Beck bully's been doing uh, since he's turned professional. Now, when it comes to Muslim, right? Because that's his name. This is him. He's standing about 6'5". He's 27. Doesn't have his reach on here. But you can see that. And there's three fights. He's had two KOs. He was a heavyweight. And he is another guy where I'm telling y'all we need to be paying attention. I think it'll be hard to remember at least part of his name because it's Muslim. At least it won't be hard for me. But he's out here, man. He has another fight scheduled. Slide this over so y'all can see. He's fighting a guy named um, Zhao Jingzheng. And Zhao Jingzheng is 12 wins and 2 losses. They're actually fighting this coming weekend. So I'm going to be trying to catch this fight so I can see a little bit more about him. But I'll tell you what, that damn Boots is fighting too. So we already know what my priority is. But long story short. He seems to be another one of those guys that we're going to be talking about in the next couple of years because they're putting out some killers coming out of Russia, coming out of Eastern Europe. And whenever you see a last name that ends in something, stands, something, of, something, you know, been at all, whatever, all those damn different names. I'm telling you, them guys, you got to shoot them. To, to, you got to kill them, man. You know, you ain't just going to come in there and not box them like they don't know how to quit. Anyway, keep cool. Muslim Godzilla, Godzilla Gametov. Looks like he's going to be another one of them big old 6'5", 6'6", 6'7", 6'8", 6'9", Eastern European, European fighters. It's going to bubble up through the heavyweight ranks and probably make some noise. Keep cool in the breeze.